to Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Sir, what do you think about the uh, terror attack that occurred uh, a couple days ago in Bulgaria? Yeah, it's definitely been too much of that, and it's it's time that, and it's interesting to see that this this question now unites even the far right with the far left. That it's it's obvious that these people have to be hunted down and tracked down, no matter where they're hiding in the world, and it's it's a risk, and it has to be dealt with. Now, the uh, latest news coming out of Bulgaria, Burgas, is that uh, there was a second suspect that uh, helped uh, the uh, terror, uh, the terrorists, uh, and they're hunting down for him. Uh, do you think that the Israeli government should be involved in this uh, uh, manhunt? Yes, obviously, yeah. Uh, now, uh, you as a Jew, uh, do you feel safe uh, going abroad on vacation? Um, I do. I pretty much do, yeah. Uh, would you fly to Bulgaria or Burgas if you had the Probably opportunity? Probably not right now. I also wouldn't go to Hungary right now. A lot of places in Eastern Europe have recently changed into a way which is pretty frightening. Now, do you think that the Israeli government should uh, retaliate? Uh, they're pointing the finger to Hezbollah and Iran. Do you think that the Israeli government should uh, do something about this? I think escalation generally is, is the wrong reply, but uh, you, you, you can't have a, a sane conversation with maniacs on the other side. But it's not a question which can, which can be answered that easily, I guess. And I'm not the intelligence, I don't know what, what's going on there right now, but it has to be, like, it has to be done with care, obviously. Now, you know that uh, one of the uh, terror victims that uh, perished uh, during this attack, uh, she was 44 years old yes. and she was pregnant I heard about and that, she yeah. had uh, tried to have children for seven years yeah. and finally she got pregnant. Uh, if uh, you had something to say to these families, uh, what would you say to them? It's, it's a terrible tragedy. We can only cry about it. There's nothing much to say about it. One final question. Egypt, Morsi, the new president of uh, Egypt, yeah. uh, do you think that he will be a reliable partner with uh, Israel? We can't tell yet. I can't tell you. We shouldn't give up on it too fast, though. But we understand that the Muslim Brotherhood basically is not a friend to Israel. <laughs> no, definitely. And uh, as you know, uh, Mashal from uh, uh, the terrorist organization Hamas, I just had a meeting with Morsi. Uh, and uh, uh, what do you think about that? that yet, yeah. What do you think about that? Uh, it's it's definitely frightening, and. It's the wrong signal being sent out to us. One final question. Hillary Clinton just met with Morsi uh, a couple days ago. Uh, do you think the, that the American administration should pressure uh, the new president of Egypt uh, into uh, continuing the uh, peace agreement that was broken down with Malachal Megan and if Anwar they, Sadat? If they have any chance to do something like that, then they definitely should. The question is, if they are already talking to people in Hamas and the Muslim Brotherhood, what influence will the United States have on them? It doesn't sound too promising to me. Final question. You as a Jew, do you really want peace? Yes, but there are requirements for that, obviously. And you those requirements have to be met. If people still get killed, there's no... It's not a peaceful time to begin with. This is Uriel, LTP, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Shalom.